everyone. Welcome to today's dishes. Let's see what he's doing tonight. Hey, thanks, Mom. Hey, guys. Tonight, i am got a few things that I'm making for you. So first, I'm going to start off with some uh, fennel that I've actually taken prior to the video. And I have put it on a roasting pan, quartered it, took off the, the fronds off of it, quartered it, and just put a little bit of olive oil, some salt on it, and a little bit of pepper, and roasted it for 20 minutes. I transferred it to this baking dish, and I added some cream to it, some butter, and then I put in some Parmigiano Reggiano cheese on top. Now I'm gonna throw it in the oven right now so we can do the rest of our show. So we're gonna throw it in there. It's gonna take about 10 minutes or so just to get nice and warm. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make risotto. Risotto takes a long time. So if you've ever wondered how, you know, when you go to a restaurant, they make it so fast. What they do is they par cook it. And I have par cooked my risotto. What I did is I put it in a pan. I melted some butter and some white onion, a half of an onion. Got it going. Then I toasted my rice and I actually used arborio rice, which is perfect for uh, risotto. I used one and a half cups. I put it in a pan and I added my uh, stock to it. I just used um, vegetable broth. It took about one whole thing of vegetable broth <clears throat> to soak it up. You gotta constantly stir it, constantly stir it. It takes about 20 to 30 minutes until you get the right consistency. So this is parboiled with that. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna make this first. Now, I don't like to make a whole pan unless everybody's eating right at the same time. So in this instance, mom's gonna eat before we do because it's, you know, she's, she's hungry. So I'm gonna make a serving of this. So what we're gonna do is I've got, oh, about two tablespoons of butter I'm going to go ahead and put that in my pan that I have already heating up. I'm going to throw that in here. And I'm going to take a scoop of this, maybe a scoop and a half, just a serving size for the rice. And what we're going to do with it, is we're going to get it going in here. Get it warm, make sure the butter's all over. And then we're going to take some of our vegetable broth, which is, because this is par cooked, it's almost done. This is just gonna finish it. So we're gonna put some vegetable broth in here. And you know, you gotta use your own judgment. And then what you wanna do is really stir it around. When you cook this in the beginning, you're gonna cook those starches up out of that rice. So when you're parboiling it, what you wanna do is keep stirring it the whole time to make that creaminess. And if you'll see in here, already that creaminess is coming back out of it. So we'll keep that going. I have my burner now up on high. And we're just gonna stir that around and really get it going, and get it cooking. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. I added a little bit of salt before, but not much. And I used a low sodium vegetable broth. You can use chicken broth, but remember it changes the flavor of everything. So this is not something I wanted to add chicken broth in. This is something that I wanted to do because the star of our dish is these chanterelle mushrooms. Uh, I found them dried and I rehydrated them and I diced them up. And we're just gonna put some of those in here. Like two or three teaspoons of those. And then we're just gonna incorporate those. And risotto, if you know, is a very creamy dish. So what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna add a little bit more broth, and I'm gonna add Parmesan Reggiano's cheese. I took this and grated it up. You can buy it already grated, but I kind of prefer it um, not already grated. We'll take that. You can add in as much as you want. So we're gonna add a generous helping of this to this one serving. And then we're just gonna go ahead and continue to whip it up. 
and stir it in and it gets nice and creamy and you got a lovely looking risotto which that is a generous portion so that's probably two portions then what we want to do is I'm going to turn it all the way down actually I'm just going to turn it off because it's done so right there you've got a beautiful risotto beautiful creamy nice risotto I'm just going to cover it real quick and over here I have a pan and I'm going to get this going on high what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to make scallops seared scallops now you don't want to use olive oil you want to use a high heat oil because you really want to get that sear onto your scallops you don't want to overcook them you don't want to undercook them but they do need to be seared very well so we're going to put I have some grapeseed oil it can handle high heat I'm going to throw it in there that's probably two tablespoons of oil we're going to mix it in let that get nice and hot and this burner heats up pretty fast so now I do have some butter we're going to add in but we're not going to add that in right now we're going to kind of let it wait now over here I have four really nice scallops that's a nice serving size for one person these are very nice and thick and tender what we're going to do with these is we're going to come over here and we're going to lightly salt them we're going to flip them over and we're going to lightly salt the other side so those are just lightly salted and then we're going to check our oil when you get that oil going really good it really flows just really evenly so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my scallops and I'm going to pop them into the oil and you hear that little sear on your scallops and what you want to do is you don't want to overcook these they'll turn to rubber if you overcook them you're going to end up with a really chewy scallop what you want is a really nice flaky scallop now right now I'm going to take my butter and I'll pop that butter right there in the middle and I'm just going to twirl it around the pan this is about two and a half to three tablespoons of butter so you know be generous everybody likes butter so it's very nice you want to let these go for a minute or so maybe two minutes three minutes on each side and while those are going I'm going to double check on my risotto make sure it's still nice and creamy which it is and we've got this going so while these are cooking we can have a neat discussion hope everybody's week's going good I got my first COVID shot the other day so uh, I got the Pfizer shot so did my wife and so did my mom so we're hoping to get back to normal here pretty soon um, I'm also a travel agent so my travel business has been picking up the last week or so which is really nice because people are just clamoring to get out and, and do a lot of traveling because Lord knows that we've all been stuck in our house for a year and a half so I'm just gonna peek at the one side they're almost done just kind of move them around your pan you really want them to cook nicely I'm gonna at this point put a little bit of pepper I like to put pepper on it too just black pepper and if you see my pan my butter starting to brown up you want to stir that butter around you don't want your butter to burn you just want it to brown and you want to get a nice sear on the scallop so we're going to turn these over now if you look beautiful sear on that side of that scallop we're going to turn that one over that one over that one over now i'm going to turn my pan down just a little bit we're going to keep stirring that butter around because you really want to Again, make sure that you don't burn that because we're going to make a sauce out of that here in a few minutes. So, we've got that really nicely going there. A little trick I like to do too 
is once they start cooking, maybe grab your spatula and just toss some of that butter and oil over those scallops. You want them nice and moist. And it's gonna foam up on you. <clears throat> That's okay. It's totally fine. It's because I put the butter in there. So and your butter has milk solids in it. So that's what causes it to fall up, but no worries, we're all good. So let these go about 30 more seconds. I think we're gonna have some beautiful scallops. So when I get these scallops out, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set them on a, on the same plate. They were dry, there was nothing wrong with them. So, I'm gonna throw this away. <clears throat> I think our scallops are probably done now. So we're just gonna peek at the other sides. Again, beautiful sear. Beautiful sear on the other side of those. Not burnt at all. Beautiful sear. We're gonna take them. We're gonna set them on our paper towel. We want them to finish cooking all the way, and also cool off. Now, with this in here that I have, we don't want to let that go to waste. So I have some wine. What kind of wine is this, then? Pinot Grigio. Pinot Grigio. I like to get the kind that you like to drink. If you like to drink it, you like to eat it. But turn your wine, you want to turn it back up. We're going to dump that in here. And that's going to deglaze our pan. Now, if you don't drink wine, you can use vegetable broth or whatever you want. But I highly suggest just go to the liquor store and buy you some wine. Because um, it's, it's going to pop around a little bit, of course, because you put a liquid into that fat. But we're just going to let that thicken up and stir it. And I turned it down. Oh, my fire alarm's going off. But that's okay. It'll go off in a second. It's okay, Mom. Really? Guess I should have turned on my fan. Well, that's what happens sometimes when you do your own videos. Things happen, so that'll turn off. I'm sorry. It makes it more fun and exciting. Woo! All right. So I've got that now, kind of where it's, you know, it's still bubbly. It's kind of thick. What I'm going to do now, if you come over here, is I have some shallots and some capers. I'm going to spoon in. A couple, couple of teaspoons of shallots and about a teaspoon and a half of capers. And then we're going to mix those along with that. We're going to make a really nice sauce. This is just going to come together. Now what we want to do is I have a lemon. I found a really nice fat lemon at the store, so I'm just going to cut that in half. We're going to bring it over here, kind of juice that lemon. Now you don't need to have a lemon or any certain amount of lemon. I would probably say, if anything, a tablespoon of lemon juice would be great. So we have that sauce and it's all together now. We're going to turn that off and now we're ready to check our stove, our oven, and get out our Here. We've only had this in here for just a few minutes. Just getting it nice and hot, but it isn't all bubbly and beautiful as you can see the bubbles on the sides. It's really lovely. And we're going to grab a plate, which I have right here. And we're going to come over here. 
and we are going to get a nice piece of that with a little bit of the buttery, a little bit of the nice creamy sauce and butter on there. Put that on the plate for Grandma. And then we're going to get her risotto. And we're going to mix it up a little bit. It's still so nice and creamy and hot. Get a nice serving of risotto there. And then we're going to take her uh, scallops. And we're going to get those. We're going to put those right here on her plate. Take this and I'm going to wipe off the edge of the plate so it's nice and clean. Now I'm going to take this sauce with my capers and butter and lemon. I'm just going to put it right over the top of the scallops. And there you have it, everybody. We have scallops with risotto and we have baked fennel, creamy baked fennel. It's a wonderful dish. We're gonna let grandma try her uh, risotto and maybe a piece of scallop and see what she thinks. Okay. Pretty good? Creamy? Try your scallop and see what you think. You have a knife. How are those scallops, Grandma? Yeah. Good. All right, guys. Grandma likes it. Sorry about the fire alarm. That makes it all fun. But anyway, don't forget to share, like, and follow on YouTube. Just hit that follow button. It really means a lot to me. I love all you guys. Hope you have fun. It's a cool experience having the fire alarm go off. But sorry the fire department didn't come. So anyway, until next time, have a great evening.